We're currently 808 rated after three back-to-back -back wins, so looking to continue growing and upping the rating. So here we go, fairly normal openings. I'm playing with the black pieces. We've got the pawns coming out, knights are supporting, and fighting for that centre. So there we go, he takes a nice central position to slightly better development than me. And so I move the knight out of the way, but he's kicking it. Not great to keep moving the knight this early on, but better to keep it safe. We'll support with the queen there. He pushes a pawn, so I try and force a trade. There we go. So I'll take the back with my queen. Okay, he gets me in check, so I'll happily try and trade these bishops off. He castles, so instead I push with a pawn to try and kick the bishop. So he's going to run with the bishop backwards, which we can pressure even more, which causes him to go out and negate that threat that was coming. So here we go, trying to trade off some pawns, open up this side of the board. Here we go, we're going to trade even pieces. There we go, so after I take the bishop, he takes the knight. And he's threatening my queen, so I threaten his queen with the pawn, and I'm threatening promotion. So to try and stop this, he takes. I then dodge the queen attack and get on the right-hand side of the board to support my king. And hopefully try and strengthen that right-hand side of the board that was looking very open. So he comes with the rook. So I try and add the support in here. And now this pawn is looming dangerously. So the last thing I want to do is allow him to promote while making a queen. So if we bring the bishop down to potentially attack the rook, uh, he supports it. So if I avoid the check, and what's he going to do? Attack the king again. Okay, so we'll avoid the check one more time. Now he brings a queen down. This is looking quite threatening, but we can take the rook. He takes back. Now we can take the pawn. Ah, uh, there we go. He offers a queen trade. I'll happily accept that queen trade because that was looking dangerous. And of course, I'm now thinking I potentially get a back rank checkmate with my rook, although that knight up top is still blocking the square. So we'll avoid the check, bring the king into the safety, into the nice open areas, so I don't get caught on the outside and check. Avoid the knight there, into the space I've just created. Avoid again, there we go, the king is nice and safe. So can I make any threats of my own? So we're gonna attack the weak knight, which he's gonna attack me back with. But here we go, hit him, check, and he dodges, but there we go, I've pinned the knight to the rook. Great, so now what can I do here? I'm thinking if I potentially bring the bishop up, I might be able to get a check in the corner, threaten the weak pawn there first. There we go, okay, so we're gonna go one more square and potentially get a check in the top corner, force the king to run. But the last thing I wanna do is get checkmated by these pawns, so let's force a trade. Is he gonna take, no, he's gonna put me in check, but no worries, I'll move to the side and after take and take, the king is safe. So there we go, there's the check, and check again, keep the king running, and again, so he's down to five seconds now, three seconds, all I need to do is keep him busy, so let's try to throw him off the scent, take the knight, is he going to mess up and get confused, there we go, one second left, blunder from him, after I take the rook, that's a win for me, so great win, on to the next one. Game two here, currently 817 rated against Zamir. I'm starting with the white pieces, so pawn out in the center, knights to support. He develops with bishop out wide, knight supporting the pawn. I continue to just work up the center, try and get the pawns as far forward as possible. So what's he going to respond with? He brings a knight in, so he can do a nice trade there, and which leads to me threatening that knight, which is pinned to the bishop. So if I can now bring the queen out to try and double a threat there. But he comes and attacks my queen, but no worries. We push up, so we're attacking the bishop, but also the knight. And after I bring the bishop in here, I'm attacking his queen. And after he takes, I get the free bishop. So there we go. So he attacks the queen, but I get the free bishop. So we're currently plus four now, so that's a great start. He hangs a pawn, so my bishop is nice and activated. What's he going to respond with? He, he blunders the rook unless I'm missing something. Okay, but <laughs> we can't complain at that at all. But there we go, so he threatens the centre with his rook. I now connect my rooks, always a lot more threatening when they're connected together. Now I'm just trying to kick the queen now, threaten the queen. All I really need to do at this point is simplify as much as possible. So instead of taking straight away the pawn and damaging my structure, I threaten the queen and I can take the bishop afterwards. But he offers a swap. There we go. I'll happily trade queens. 
then I'll take the extra bishop. So currently plus five, going into our end game with two rooks against one. So there you go, let's join the rooks together, increase the threat. After he shuffles away, I'll take the pawns, now plus six. Okay, he's taken back. But all I really need to do here, simplify as much as possible, pick up all the pawns, keep the rooks connected. Here we go. So he's shuffling. To... Oh, okay, I brought a pawn in going for promotion. I think I just hung a rook there. But he misses it, he misses it, okay. So we've got to get straight out of danger. We're very lucky there. Let's try and stop that pawn promoting. Because that could be dangerous. Right, okay, so I can't take the pawn because he'll take back. I can't. Okay, this is a difficult situation here. I need to try not to mess this up. Okay, we're just going to have to take the pawn. We're going to have to take the pawn. So that's a bit of a blunder from me. But after I take back with a check, we're still very much in a winning endgame here. So we just need to bring the pawns up, bring the king up, and hopefully find checkmate. There we go. Can I get the promotion? Not quite. Okay, but no worries. He gets me in check. I'll move up the way. He takes my pawn. I'll take his. So I've, <laughs> I've not converted this in the best possible way. But this is still very much a winning endgame. And there we go. Pin the king to the rook. So I can take the rook. He'll take back. And now it just is a case of my three pawns against his zero. So providing I don't accidentally stalemate here, this should be a very winnable endgame. So just marching up, making sure I've still got a square left to move to. Being very careful not to stalemate. So bring the pawns up. King in. Okay, if we take a king on the outside, leaves the space for him to move. And I can then go about promoting to a queen. Okay, here we go. So if I promote to a queen, he's still got one space to move to. And now we just need to find mate. And there it is. Brilliant. Okay, so we've got two wins back to back. Currently pushing up the ratings, so one more game together, let's go for three. For my third game today, we're here against Psy1395. Again, playing with the white pieces, so my usual opening, pawns out in the centre, knights to support. He's coming at me with a bit of a staggered pawn attack here, I'm not entirely sure how to deal with this. So if I just stick to my development, keep everything central... Castle, castle. I mean, it's definitely not an opening I'd recommend, but I just wasn't sure how to deal with this pawn staggered approach, so didn't want to make any mistakes. But there we go. He managed to break the stalemate, take the bishop, try to damage his pawn structure a bit, and again there, get my bishop into play, supported by the queen. So it felt like a bit of a messy one, but I think we're okay. So if I attack his pin pieces, I will happily take there, defend my queen. I'll make that trade, no worries. Let's put the bishop out wide to stop the king running. Uh, he comes attacking my queen, but no worries, we can take. What do you take with the pawn? No, he offers the queen trade. Okay, I think we'll take that. I mean, we've got the rooks looking at each other, but yeah, yeah, let's take the queen trade. The rooks are looking at each other, but I'll block that with the bishop, and I've pinned his knight against the rook. There we go, and he sacrifices the rook. Wow, okay, so there we go. We're currently plus one after he sacrifices the rook. Now, can I find a way to break through and win this same game? Two rooks against a rook and a knight. So hopefully nothing silly. Let's get the rook up high. There we go. He's attacking me. But no worries. We can block. And that's a free pawn. Nice. Plus two. He shuffles back. Another free pawn with check. Plus three. He has to shuffle out like the way. So there we go. Plus four. Wow. Okay. This does look winnable now. Even after the messy start we had. And after takes, takes again. I can threaten both pieces at once. Ah, there we go. I can't take his other pawn because his knight's blocking it. But we can still threaten the knight. No worries. And now we can take the pawn after he takes me. But we'll threaten him first. He'll move out of the way. Then we'll take the pawn. Nice. Okay. So how do we convert this without messing up? <laughs> Just as I say that, I hang the rook. Okay. Yep. That's a very good fork from him. I probably should have seen that come in. Is it still a winnable endgame, though? It should be. It should be. So we'll block his pawn developing, and hopefully we can force a rook trade. He's bringing the king in. Will he take it? Yes. Okay, nice. Okay, so he's taken the rook trade, which now means all I need to do is get one of these split pawns up to the end of the board. And there we go. He can't defend both, so he commits to one. All I now need to do is climb, make the queen, which luckily defended my other pawn down there. So he can't run too far. 
it promote the second one to also be a queen. There we go, defend the pawn. He runs to make another queen. That leaves mating one. And there we go, down at the bottom. So it wasn't the tidiest of wins, but we'll take it. That's three back-to-back -back wins today, gaining us plus eight to reach a new record of 833 ELO. So a 25-point increase from today's games. Let's hope this progress continues. I'll catch you in the next one.